Oke, okay, gak <laughs> Dear Ted, you've been my unwanted house guest for 30 years, and now <laughs> you've got to go. We both know you've constantly interrupted my life and for a long time made me unrecognizable to myself. The truth is, I just don't want to do this anymore. For decades, you made my eyes a problem either bulging or dry and sore, or never quite able to close when I slept. And despite all my gold medals, you made sure I could hardly recognize the hurdles I was jumping over. You made me believe my eye symptoms were a part of my Graves' disease, so I just put up with them. But now I know they were separate, and they were all you, Ted. Do you remember that day at the park when the little boy pointed at me and said, Mom, what's wrong with her? She looks like a monster. That's when I stopped going out of the house. I covered up all my mirrors, and I just wanted to black out the world because I didn't know what was wrong with me. But now I know it wasn't me, it was you. For years, I struggled to find a full night's sleep, and I was afraid to tell my husband the reason I won't drive at night is because the lights from the oncoming cars really bother me. I still can't leave the house without my eye drops, and I've lost count of how many times I've told people, no, I don't have allergies. Had I known about you all those years ago, I would have gone straight to a TDI specialist. Now, I have the care I need, and I won't take my eyes off you. I'm getting my eye health back on track, and I'm reclaiming the real Gail Devers I've been looking for. I realize now you were just another hurdle I had to figure out how to get over. And now I just want to help others get through the finish line faster. If you live with TED or you love someone who does, submit your own Dear Ted letters and read stories from others. Visit DearTedLetters.com.